this video we're going to replace the gears and the oil pump drive shaft in the accessory case for the 0540 light combing. So if we recall the oil review, so this is your oil pump. It pumps oil from this part, which connects to the sump, sucks it up this channel into the gears and then sends it through up this channel to the oil filter and the rest of the system. So what we're gonna do is this oil pump shaft, if you look right here, you can see that coloration. So there's a little bit of wear on this oil pump shaft, enough where you can see a significant, significant amount of wear, which this thing is always turning. So as soon as the engine starts turning this, or via the crankshaft, that turns this oil pump and that drives the gears that are inside this oil pump. So we're gonna replace this shaft, but as a result of that, I'm also gonna replace the oil pump drive gears that sit inside this since this is worn. So this video is gonna show us disassembling this, installing the new gears, and then reconnecting the safeties and torquing that. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, once you've removed the, the nuts, the safety wire, the nuts, the oil pump housing essentially just slides off. It's an aluminum housing. And then below it are the two gears. So the oil pump, uh, they're individually machined parts, however you can only buy them as a set. So this is the one that's suspect because the shaft has been worn. You can look inside there and see the, the wear spot in there. That's pretty typical just because, you know, they, as the engine starts, it grabs these and starts turning it. So that's a normal wear point. During an engine overhaul, this is one of those mandatory replacement parts. But since I have the engine open anyway and that shaft's a little worn, I'm going to replace the oil pump and the drive shaft just on account as I have it open. So uh, we're going to discard these and then install the new ones. So there's two. The drive shaft, it's keyed. You can see the uh, shape of that. So it's keyed to that, and that actually is the driving gear. And then the, the idler gear here has its own shaft, sits in the housing, and then is spun by a, via that other gear train. So this one will get replaced as well. The new ones, you buy them as a set. They come in a, bags with preservative oil. So we're going to clean those off, and then we're going to reinstall into the oil pump. Uh, we'll pre-lubricate these. As we install them in there and we'll replace the housing, we'll put new, the nuts on and torque it and safety it. So that'll be next. All right, now that you have the oil pump disassembled, we have the new gears. Nice shiny new gears. The housing's been cleaned and we did a brief visual inspection. No, no damage there. The new shaft. So before we install this, we need to put some pre-oil on it. Uh, the big one that we deal with with pre-oil on the oil pump, if the oil pump is dry and we go to start it, the oil pump is responsible for, remember, sucking oil from the sump up into the housing to feed the, the rest of the engine. If this is dry, you run the risk of cavitating the oil pump and there, there won't be a good seal in there when this thing's spinning that it won't actually draw and suck oil up into the housing. So we like to fill this cavity with a lot of pre-oil just to keep it keep the seals tight so when it's we go to spin it it'll actually create a good suction force and pull oil up into the system if that doesn't work we may have to gain access to a, a pressure port or an oil galley and actually feed oil back down into the oil pump to fill this so it'll create suction when it starts spinning when we run the engine so spend a little bit of time now pre-oil it Just oil down the gears get your oil can out your pre-oil that's probably close to the camera Oil the teeth all real good. The shaft, don't be afraid to get oil down in the housing anywhere, it's all good. The idler in. The other gear. Get down in all those teeth.
and the housing is going to slide over that and then since I'm not doing this flat I got to turn so you can see it the gears will slide around a little bit if you use the new shaft as you put the housing on you can sort of line up that shaft and that'll help bring that that gear into a centered position so it'll the housing will slide all the way down we got the housing, we're gonna oil pre-oil that real good. I'm gonna make some nice good suction with this thing when we first crank it. So slide that over, kind of align that gear. And then if you turn it as you're putting the housing pump on, the gears will kind of center themselves and that'll allow that housing to just slide down over it. Once that's on, you don't necessarily need to keep the gear on it or the drive shaft, you can. And then we're gonna install the nuts. We're gonna torque it per the manual specs and then we'll safety these three nuts together and then that'll be installed. All right, at this point we have safety the oil pump. Uh, essentially, you just want to make sure you follow what the service guide says as far as the safety pattern. The main thing is you want to keep clear of the shaft. Once it's torqued and safety, turn the pump. Just make sure it turns smoothly. And then we'll begin to uh, assemble the accessory case next.